Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Another feature for you today in the form of this M240i. Of course, I love these platform cars. Uh, you may remember long-term viewers of the channel, I had an M140i. This is actually running fairly similar power to my previous car. It's a stage three car running a hybrid turbo. It's got the Pure 800 cast turbo on it, running around 600 horsepower, which is thereabouts what my car ran on pump fuel. This, of course, is running pump fuel today. Uh, it looks absolutely mega as well. And of course, in usual fashion, we are joined with Ben, the owner, so we'll get him on camera in a moment. He'll walk us through basically what he's done to it. Uh, it gets a lot of use to this car, which is really cool. Um, and then we'll go out and experience this 600 brake M240i. Okay, so we're joined now with Ben, the owner. Mate, thank you so much for coming down uh, with this. Bit of a beast, this, yes, isn't it? Really? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's fairly well known as well, I think, the car. Yeah, a little fairly bit. Fairly well known. Um, so yeah, it's very cool to get it on the channel. Uh, we've got the bonnet up, of course. Uh, so we'll basically start off under here, really. Uh, first thing that catches my eye, that intake system is yes. very cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, talk to us about it, really. So it's a front mount intake uh, developed by Cobb Developments. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, the big yeah. air filter in the front there. Absolutely absolutely fine. I've never had an issue with it. I daily it, so I yeah. use it in the rain and everything. Yeah. It's never been an issue. Yeah. Obviously, the ultra racing brace, yeah. the MMR charge pipe. Yeah. Other than that, it's basically all stock underneath here. Yeah. Yeah. It's Obviously, stock engine, not stock forged engine, or anything. Stock engine, not forged, no. These B58s can take quite a bit of abuse stock. <laughs> yeah, so they can. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't, doesn't need to be forged just yet. Yeah. Is maybe that the plan, someday. do you reckon? Maybe, maybe one day? Yeah, maybe yeah. one day. <laughs> Turbo-wise, as we mentioned, it's the Pure 800 cast turbo. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. So it's their new turbo, which they're doing, which they only started doing last year. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's still kind of in development and being pushed. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's definitely it's not at the limit at the moment, though. Not at the limit no. yet, no. It's mad how much power you can get out of these. It really is. Yeah. Um, almost slightly makes me wish that I still had my M140i, because <laughs> they are cool cars. For what they are, the price you pay, rear-wheel drive, inline six. You can't really. You can't, you go can't really go wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much everything under here. We'll move around, though, because visually, as we mentioned, this thing looks pretty cool as well. Yeah. The wrap, the wheels stands out a bit. It does. It, it really does. Yeah. <laughs> it's very bright. And you did actually have a track day yesterday, hence why um, it's still a little bit dirty, which I yeah. think is cool. Um, yeah. What wheels are they that you're, that you're running so on So they're the JR32s. Uh -huh. I just got them recently, probably about a month ago. So they're still quite new. Yeah. yeah. Same with the wrap that was only done two weeks ago. So that, okay. was, that was done down in London by AJ's Atelier. Okay. Obviously, really good for wrapping i'm just about to go back wednesday to have the checkup done so no it does look really cool and obviously mm. the white details following uh, into the engine bay as well brakes wise what are you running on, on so the on the front they are rts drilled and grooved uh -huh. with uh ferodo ds2500 pads yeah on the rear same ds2500 pads but they are the m performance drilled and grooved okay. ones yeah yeah the yeah. hotter they we'll get the better they are <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so what was it castle coombe right yesterday yeah it was yeah. castle coombe yeah the german cool. performance day visually as well quite a bit of carbon i have just spied the carbon uh, bonnet gleaming away in the sun as well yeah. carbon flicks and a massive rear spoiler as well <laughs> which is pretty cool yeah Very so cool. that that spoiler actually is part of uh, a body kit yeah that's a krotov body kit uh, down to the back though single exit exhaust which is pretty cool yeah <laughs> i get a lot of questions about that yeah why, why it's a single exit but a lot of people with b58s are doing that now though aren't they yeah i i first done it literally about a few months after i got the car two years ago yeah i've always wanted to do it and then yeah. probably a week after i'd done it i saw that um <laughs> tom wrigley did it on yeah. his 240 before me so yeah. obviously people thought I was copying him but yeah since then it's become quite popular obviously yeah, um, yeah. but yeah it's a custom built three and a half inch by Osprey Performance okay yeah three and a half inch uh, back box as well got a pipe behind the back box and then that's got a valve on it so nice. i can still yeah. pass obviously sound tests on track yeah, on tracks and things so yeah, open i believe it's 124 decibels wow okay closed it goes down to 87. oh really wow yeah, that's so cool it, it makes a lot of difference awesome and then interior wise pretty much stock i guess yeah except the m performance steering wheel okay so yeah, that's the nice. led alcantara one yeah awesome brilliant well as i mentioned i'm looking forward to getting back out in a in a high powered b58 so i think that's pretty much everything we'll uh we'll hop in get it fired up and go yeah. for a spin <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> it's been a while since I've been out in one of these, but this sounds so much better than what mine did as well. Because mine was so quiet when I had, well, I think the same diameter exhaust as what you've got. Yeah. But just less restriction. Yeah. <laughs> there is a few things we forgot as well. Yes, um, there is. <laughs> fuel pump. Yeah, so that's a Dodge Stage 2 fuel pump. And, I don't uh, know how we forgot that, but we did. Yeah, <laughs> even though it's right there staring at us in the face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And essential to making <laughs> this kind of power. 100%. The other thing we forgot was the coilovers. So it's on BC Racing coilovers. Okay, yeah. Um, and obviously LSD. Yeah, of but course. That's good to have good thing to with, do, yeah. with this sort of power. So yeah. I was drifting for about a year and year and three months without an LSD okay. so that was when it was still stage two plus yeah, yeah. it was still good but it's just a different world with this <laughs> it is a bit of a drift machine this but yeah. I think it goes without saying well I think you are as well to be fair <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you're a madman. <laughs> that is insane. These cars at this kind of power, they just spin, don't they? they yeah. You, they just eat through rubber. <laughs> Which actually kind of leads us on to the build you got in the back. Yes. It's kind of all based around. Yeah, so that, because of the track days and drift days I do, and JT Club Sport actually built a custom. Uh, rear seat delete for me, mm -hmm. which uh, holds my jack and my um, impact gun as well. Yeah. I was constantly carrying it around just in the back seat and it was like kind of scratch, uh, scratching and damaging the back seat. So right, yeah, yeah. when I wanted a rear seat delete, I kind of obviously contacted him and asked if he can do anything. And mm -hmm. I went down there for the day and he literally custom built the whole thing. It's been perfect, as you can tell it, the, and Jack doesn't rattle around or anything. Yeah, it's you all, wouldn't even know that it's, it's back Yeah, it's all built really well, so. <laughs> so obviously, where it's at now, you've built it from a stock car yes. on the way up. Yeah, I have, yeah. You've done pretty much everything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't need more power. <laughs> no. But, but it's nice to have. Do you want but, it? Um, at the moment, no. So right now, I kind of want to do more preventative mods. So kind of like a PCV delete, which yeah. is kind of needed on these when it's high power. Yeah. And uh, an oil catch can as well. Mm -hmm. Literally, I've never been like this with any of my past cars. Like usually, yeah. I'm always looking at what I want next. Yeah. With this one, I'm just always looking at the next mod and yeah. never yeah. at the next car because I'm, I'm in love with it. It shows how good it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> God, it's really stable as well. It is. Have you got any like racing underneath it? Anti roll no. bars or anything? It really? comes with one or from stock. Okay. But other than that, no. Yeah.